metropolitan city of Kolkata is not just well known for its roshagullas, mishti doys, trams, Howrah Bridge and Victoria Memorial, but also for its inexpensive nature. Maybe this is the reason it is called the City of Joy. With a rapidly expanding sports culture, West Bengal's capital, Kolkata, played host to yet another successful edition of the McLeod Russell Tour Championship 2017 at the Royal Calcutta Golf Club course. This 1.5 crore tournament, held in the second half of December, presented the city of joy, Kolkata, an opportunity to see top Indian stars in action. A galaxy of stars were in action for four days, which included the likes of Jyoti Randhava, SSP Chaurasia, Shamim Khan, Shubhankar Sharma, and Rashid Khan, to name a few. Halfway through the tournament, it was two-time Asian Tour winner Delhi's Rashid Khan who was leading the chart with a total score of 10 under par 134. Rashid carded a score of 5 under par 67 on the opening day to finish at tied second. He went on a rampage at the start of round two thanks to some extremely accurate iron shots. Rashid hit birdies on the first four holes. He rallied with two long birdie conversions on the 9th and the 14th to return to 10 under overall to lead the chart. I started really well. I think uh, I was four under after four holes. But uh, yeah, a little disappointed, double on seventh hole where I was sent to fairway, I hit it right. And uh, but it's fine, okay. I mean, I really had a really good comeback after that. I mean, after making a double bogey on the front, from the fairway, I think uh, it's a really good comeback and I'm really happy with the round today. Rahil Ganji's consistent putting kept him in the hunt on day two as he went error-free for the second straight day. Rahil had carded a score of 5 under par 67 to finish the opening day at tied second place with Rashid Khan. Rahil, who emerged as the only golfer to be bogey-free through the first 36 holes, registered a 68 on the second day to occupy second place at 9 under 135. I'm pretty happy about today's game also. I shot 4 under, no bogeys. That's a, that's a real big thing for me. Two days I haven't made a bogey. I'm, I've never done that before, so I'm really happy about that. Round 1 leader Shubhankar Sharma of Chandigarh dropped to 3rd place after a 70 that moved his total to 8 under 136. Shubhankar, who led the charts on the opening day with a score of 6 under par 66, had an off day with the putter on the second day. He made pars on the first 10 holes but then picked up the pace with 3 birdies on the next 5. However, he dropped a bogey on the 16th to close the day two behind the leader. My putting was really good yesterday. If I, even if I putted half as good as I did yesterday, I would have been four under par at least. So, uh, you know, only, only my putting. I'm hitting it good as well. So, I just have to keep maintaining the rhythm and uh, I think I'll, I'll finish well. Local favourite SSP Chaurasia gained eight spots by rising from overnight tied 12th to tied 4th after his second round of 68. He shared 4th place with Patna's Aman Raj at 5 under 139. The five players bunched in tied 6th at 4 under 140 included Kolkata-based rookie Viraj Madapa, Sri Lankan N. Tangaraja, Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu, Khalin Joshi of Bengaluru and Gurgaon's Veera Lavat. Life is not a competition. Life is about helping and inspiring others so we can each reach our potential. This is what our leader group Rashid, Rahil and Shubhankar taught us in the McLeod Russell Tour Championship 2017 by sharing moments of joy together.
It was a lot of fun. I was playing with Rashid and uh, Rahel, both are great friends. And uh, you know, we were actually chatting the whole the whole time. We had a lot of fun. It wasn't really didn't feel like we were competing. It was more like a friendly round. That's what I told them on the first tee that you know it feels like it's a friendly round today. So uh, you know, we all had fun, and it's only the second day, so it's it's all normal. Uh, it doesn't get very competitive right now. It will, it will get competitive on the on the next two days. You know, it was really healthy today. On the whole, I think um, all of us uh, were looking forward to the weekend and hopefully the best man wins. Rashid Khan extended his lead to two shots in round three of the PGTI's year-end championship. He carded a third straight five under 67 that took his score to 15 under 201 at the RCGC. He sank three birdies on the first five holes. He stumbled in the middle but rallied with a fabulous back nine that featured four birdies. Today I started really well and it's really important when you start well and you should finish well also. But uh, yeah, bogey on six and seven, a little drop down there but uh, I was focused and made a really good comeback on back nine. Shubhankar Sharma came roaring back after a sedate second round. Shubhankar, who was hitting it better and finding more fairways as compared to round two, picked up three birdies on the front nine and two more on the back nine. Shubhankar carded an error-free 67 that saw him rise from third to second place at 13 under 203. He emerged as the most serious challenger to Rashid as the rest of the field was another five shots behind. It was good, made five birdies, no bogeys, uh, great round. Could have made a few more putts but uh, other than that I'm really happy. It was close all day, I mean we were both feeding off each other and I think both of us played really well. I think it will be more the same tomorrow and uh, I'm just hoping for another good round and we'll see how it goes. Gurgaon based Veera Lavath moved up from overnight tied sixth to tied third after posting a four under par 68 for the day. Veer shared the third spot with Bengaluru's Rahil Ganji at eight under 208. Ganji slipped one spot from his overnight second position. Shamim Khan of Delhi, the current PGTI Order of Merit leader, carded the day's best score of 66 to climb 11 spots to tied 5th at 7 under 209. He shared the spot along with Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu and Patna's Aman Raj. Local favourite SSP Chaurasia was tied 10th at 5 under 211. Will Rashid Khan continue to maintain his lead in the final round? Find out next in the show. Kolkata's Royal Calcutta Golf Club was the venue for the McLeod Russell Tour Championship 2017, which was witnessing some high-quality golf action. Coming into the final round, it was a straight face-off between Rashid Khan and Shubhankar Sharma. Rashid Khan did not have a very good start to the day. He got a bogey to begin with on the very first hole that reduced his lead over Shubhankar to just one shot. Ajitesh Sandhu, who started the day tied fifth, got this beautiful birdie opportunity and he went to eight under overall. After a bogey on the first hole, a tee shot was going to be very crucial for Rashid Khan on this par 3 second hole. 
and he did not disappoint. Regaining his composure with his birdie, Rashid went to 15 under once again, leading Shubhankar by two strokes. With two shots adrift, Shubhankar needed to get a good second shot on this par 4 third hole. And he did manage the birdie, did Shubhankar, to close the gap down between him and Rashid to just one shot. Rahil, meanwhile, got a birdie opportunity on this par 5 fourth hole. But he missed it by a whisker to get a par and stayed at 8 under. Shubhankar raised his game and went level with Rashid after this birdie on the par 5 fourth hole. While Rahil Ganji got this birdie opportunity on the par 4 fifth and he grabbed it with both hands to go 9 under. Viraj Madapa, who started at 4 under overall at tied 12th, got back to back birdies. And after getting a birdie on the 7th, this birdie on the 8th put him to a total of 6 under overall. Rahil Ganji, who had dropped two shots on the seventh hole, tried to make amends on this par 4 eighth. With a birdie, he went to eight under. Meanwhile, Shubhankar hit a perfect second shot on the par 4 eighth hole to put pressure on Rashid Khan and secured a birdie on the eighth to go 16 under. However, Rashid responded with equal intensity. He too got a birdie to level things at 16 under. With Rashid and Shubhankar both at 16 under with 10 holes to go, a nail-biting finish was certainly on the cards. Shamim Khan, who was tied fifth, went on to miss this par putt at the ninth hole, a par four, and it proved to be costly for the order of merit leader. And what proved to be worse for the man who started the day tied fifth was that he went on to get a double bogey and drop a couple of shots to move to five under overall and really drop out of title contention. Rahil Ganji, meanwhile, the second shot on the par 4 10th hole, landed it nicely on the green next to the pin. <laughs> meanwhile, tied at top spot, Rashid Khan at 16 under came up with a solid second shot on the par 4 9th hole and went on to get an eagle and straight away put Two shots between him and Shubhanka, much to the delight of the crowd that had gathered at the RCGC. <laughs> Rahil Ganji, aiming to get the birdie part in on the par 4 10th hole, got it easily and went on to move to 10 under overall. Shubhanka Sharma was under pressure, looked for a birdie putt to try and regain some of the spots lost. Under hit the birdie putt on the par 4 10th hole. In the end, managed par to stay at 16 under. Meanwhile, it was a red hot putter for Rahil Ganji, aiming for a birdie on the par 4 12th hole. Missed the birdie. But settled for par to stay at 10 under. <laughs> having seen the highs of having carded an eagle, Rashid Khan went on to miss a par putt 
and bogeyed the par 4 11th to drop to 17 under. Shamim Khan was trying to regroup, aiming for a birdie part on the par 3 13th hole. But he just under hit that and had to settle for par and stay at 5 under. It was turning out to be an up and down day for Rahil Ganji, who at 10 under missed this par putt on the par 4 14th hole. In the end, bogeyed the hole to go to 9 under. Leader Rashid Khan at 17 under attempted this birdie putt on the par 4 12th hole, missed it but still settled for par to stay one shot ahead of Shubhankar. Shubhankar himself missed this par putt oh. and suddenly things began to slip away as he bogeyed the 12th hole to go to 15 under. A strong approach to the edge of the green put Rahil Ganji in a strong position on the par 5, 15th hole. And then a good approach to the pin helped him set up for a birdie that took him to 10 under. Aiming to claw back Shubhanka Sharma with his third shot on the par 4, 14th hole. Managed to get it close to the pin. Got a par on this hole to remain at 15 under, but still two shots behind the leader. So with four holes to go, the contest between Rashid Khan and Shubhanka Sharma was still getting intense. Rashid managed to maintain a two-shot lead over Shubhanka, but anything could happen over the last few holes. Welcome back to Inside the PGTI, where Kolkata's prestigious RCGC played host to the McLeod Russell Tour Championship 2017. The final round of the tournament has reached its business end as Rashid Khan and Shubhanka Sharma are fighting it out for the trophy. Shamim Khan, though, at 5 under on the par 4 16th hole with his second shot, made a nice approach to the pin. while Chubhanka Sharma on the par 5, 15th hole was at 15 under but made an excellent third shot from the bunker onto the green. Leader Rashid Khan, who was two strokes ahead on the par 5, 15th hole, went for the par part and missed it. He had hit in the water earlier, finally bogeyed the hole to drop a shot and go to 16 under. Rahil Ganji, who was at 10 under, attempted a birdie putt on the par 4 16th hole and got it to move to 11 under with a late charge. Shamim, who had had an up and down day, made a birdie putt to go to 6 under on the par 4 16th hole. Shubhanka, though, was beginning to pile up the pressure. Making a birdie putt to go to 16 under to level things with Rashid Khan. 
Shamim Khan, on the other hand, attempted a birdie putt on the par for 17th and went on to sink it to move to 7-under to make amends for earlier in the day. Shubhanka Sharma then got a birdie on the par for 16th hole and went on to move to 17-under to really mount a late charge against Rashid Khan. Rashid also made the birdie part on the 16th to move to 17 under level with Shubhanka Sharma. Shamim Khan made a solid second shot on the par 4 18th hole with a very good approach near the pin. Meanwhile, Rashid Khan was attempting a par putt on the par 4 17th, went on to miss it. And this could prove to be crucial to his title chances as the bogey took him to 16 under. Rahil Ganji, meanwhile, missed the par putt on the par 4 18th. In the end, had to settle for a bogey to finish the tournament at 9-under overall. Shubhanka Sharma, meanwhile, had to hold his nerve as he went for a birdie putt on the 17th. The par 4 missed it, but still made the par and stayed at 17-under and in the lead by just a solitary stroke ahead of Rashid Khan. Shamim Khan, meanwhile, made the birdie putt to finish the tournament at 8-under overall. The pressure was squarely on Rashid Khan, who had to try and make the birdie to try and level things up with the leader, but he went on to miss the birdie putt on the par 4 18th hole. And all that Shubhanka Sharma had to do was hold his nerve as he went for a long birdie putt on the final hole, which could have given him the title. He did miss it. But by sinking the par putt, he made sure that he would take the title at the RCGC in the McLeod Russell Championship. Rashid Khan, in the end, got a par putt on the par 4 18th, but finished at 16 under, one shot behind Shubhanka Sharma, as Shubhanka went on to clinch the tournament. with moments of joy for Shubhanka, who held his nerve in the final round in an exciting finish at the RCGC. A final look at the leaderboard at the end of round four. Shubhanka ending the tournament at 17 under, one shot ahead of Rashid Khan to go on and clinch the title. Rahil Ganji had an up and down final round in the end, finishing at nine under. Uh, really happy. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Played really well throughout the week, and uh, you know, till the end, I was very, very calm. Even even though I had to make a long part on the last two win, I think I just played great golf this week. Didn't make too many errors and made a lot of birdies. So very happy. It's been a dream season for me. Uh, I won thrice this year, and I won all three tournaments that I won were after August. So you know, really happy with the way I played and uh, couldn't have asked for a better year. Especially to win the last event of the year is the icing on the cake, so I'm really happy. And a look at the overall order of merit standings for 2017. Shamim Khan, in the end, topping the list with 51,64,000, with Udayan Mane in second spot. 
स्टार्टिंग से लीड ली और लगभग 80 परसेंट टूर्नामेंटों तक लीड ली हालांकि एक एक पल के लिए दो टूर्नामेंट के लिए मैंने लीडर हुआ था लेकिन लास्ट में मेरा परफॉर्मेंस काफ़ी हद तक बहुत बेहतर रहा बहुत खुशी है कि मैं सेकेंड टाइम टूर्नामेंट जीता And with that we come to the end of this season of the PGTI thanks for watching